Hello everyone, one of my friends asked me for ideas on age-appropriate toys for kids. So here's a video for those of you who'd like to know what toys I gave to my kids, when and why. So just to give you a quick glance, this is what I'll be talking about. Let me pause here for a bit to let you know that whatever I forgot to record in this video is updated on the website, so check out keshalish.com for more details. For the first month, there really is no need for a toy and they sleep so much that making any noise with a toy or anything is pretty much pointless I feel but from two to five months this is what I would suggest I gave my kids the baby Einstein musical toy it just has some four tunes or something but at least there was some music and some lights and that's all the kids want at that age I think they actually started pressing the buttons and the arrows on the BB Einstein musical toy after six months of age even though I'm not so fond of just those four tunes because uh, I like a toy to have a lot more variety but still that's a very popular toy and then what I like to put my kids in was the activity gym the play gym uh, to give them tummy time and also the, all the colors there were uh, all the animals and and then there was some crinkly sound and there were lights and uh, music different tunes they're just so amazed with all those colors and everything else that they see so that is a really good um, I'm not sure if I can say a toy but it's colorful it's great for tummy time it's great for kids to try and reach uh, those different things it's great for kids to press the sounds and uh, the crinkly noise and for kids age two to five months i feel like all those rattles and anything that has music and all those musical toys with lights any sensory toys with different textures all those are great so for eight six months plus i love uh, this fisher prize dog it has i forgot how many tunes and songs but it has a lot of rhymes then you press the ear, there's light on the heart, you press the tummy, your hand and foot and um, it has like ABC um, and then it has this musical note sign because whatever you press will play one of those poems, rhymes, music, tunes, one of it and then this is the off button. And so all these sounds that it has, kids really like it and it's I think after six months where they actually learn to press certain things. So I carried this in the flights when we traveled extensively in Thailand and India um, and this is such a happy face. It just makes me so happy when I look at this puppy. So this one's from Leapfrog. It's called uh, Scouts Learning uh lights remote this one has numbers and it has musical uh, tunes it uh, there's there are a lot of lights up here and then there are shapes because when you press all these shapes you can see i see two hearts can you find them and it's like and it lights up the hearts And it, this one actually has uh, 65 plus songs, tunes, and learning responses. And it says from 6 to 36 months. Unfortunately, I did not know about this when they were 6 months old. I actually found out about this one when they were a year old. I wish I could have carried this during my flights. It's small, so handy. Kids love playing pretend play phone with this. I love how you can press so many buttons on, them, on this. And it's very different from the Einstein toy where you can press only four buttons. But this is very good and it's very good learning for the kids as well. Because even now when my kids are 19 months old, love to press it. And I think this has actually helped my girl learn numbers. Because at 19 months, she's able to say uh, most of the numbers and recognize it as well. So I love this toy very much. Leave Rob Remote. Thumbs up for it. Also for six months plus, once they get the board of their activity gym, play gym, you can get them a play mat like this. This is pretty huge. Like that. It has names of animals and uh, uh, names of objects. And I love how colorful this is. And it's a pretty big play mat. I used to let kids crawl on this and play with their toys on this um, at home. And then I would also take it to the park and let them sit on this. And while I would point out the alphabet and names of animals and stuff, I would also just say what color something is. So it's overall very nice mat and it's um and i love it i got this from thailand so i don't know where you can find it here but i'm sure you can find something on amazon my kids enjoyed a jumperoo like this one from seventh month onwards 
It's wonderful with lights, music, so many things to touch and reach. The seat rotates 360 degrees and they can bounce in it. There's also something called extra saucer and they say infants as young as 4 to 5 months can sit in these. But I didn't put my kids in the jump room until I was certain they had good neck support and could hold their head up comfortably without supervision. So for 8 month plus, this is called Fisher Price Stack and Roll Cups. And even though on the product it says it's for 6 month plus, I feel like my kids were not ready for this for 6 month plus because they would usually try to pick it up and hit themselves. Um, so I think this is better for 8 month plus kids who can really actually enjoy stacking it and have that grip to be able to actually pick it up and stack it within each other because they these are nesting as well. And I love this toy very much because even at 19 months, I can teach them the colors. You can also stack these um, upside down and create a tower. It comes with a ball like this. So this is a good wrapper for them if you want to, if they like to play with that. And then you can also put two colors together and form a ball. The larger size doesn't go with the smallest one. So they try to figure out which one goes with the other. They have other colorful stacking rings and those kind of toys too. Those are pretty good for 8 month plus as well. 6 to 8 months is a good age to introduce a lot of new toys as kids begin to enjoy exploring and everything looks like an adventure to them. I got them this battery operated train set and oh my they were so excited and amazed. We had to hold them because the moment we let them go, the train and the track was into pieces. For uh, 9 month plus, I think this WeTech Learning Walker is very good. I did not get this until kids were um, 13 months old. It's because we were traveling since the kids were 6 uh, months old until uh, 1 year. I feel like had I given this to my kids earlier, they would have learned to walk sooner. Because they started to learn to walk only after 13 months. So if you feel like your kid is beginning to stand up with the support of a table or so or a couch, and if you feel like the kid is trying to take some steps, I think it, it, it would be a good time to introduce this walker. The kid can learn to walk, and then there are so many sounds and lights. Welcome to our learning bar. Pretend play. Musical tunes. My kid loves dancing on this. Keisha loves dancing to tunes when he presses the cow. You can probably you can probably watch one of our vlogs where um, it's titled Press the Cow for Music. So my kids love this even now and this can come off as well like this. So if your kid is not interested in walking, you can just use this as one of their toys. But I just have that suggestion for 9 month plus because they have plenty of other toys to play with by this time. So I have not actually bought so many toys for them at once because they have to play with some of the other old toys as well. So. So that's the only suggestion. And then for 11 month plus, this Fisher Price Elephant 3 in 1 Bounce Stripe and Bride is recommended for age 9 months to 36 months. But I feel like 9 months is probably too early for this. I'm not so sure. But if your kid shows interest in this, sure, go ahead. So what the kid can do is bounce on this. There's not much bouncing but bounce on this and then um, once their feet touches the ground, they can uh, what's that action they can just drag themselves forward and ride or or you can push push them from behind and then this has that's all it has just those buttons over here and some of these sounds um, and that's about it but it's this writing that they do enjoy I did not give this to my kids until they were 13 months old. This activity center is for 12 month plus. If your kid at 11 months shows interest in all these different things, for example, 
rolling this, turning this, and then this, um, the sound here, pressing this, and then there's a little mirror as well. And there are shapes over here. And it says it's uh, good for developing hand and eye coordination. There are so many activity centers on Amazon. I feel like the ones which are uh, square in shape and have stuff on top as well as on the sides are pretty good. Okay, so that was for 11 month plus. For 12 month plus, I love, love, love this one. One of my very good friends gifted this to Keisha and Alicia and I love it so much because it has 150 plus songs, melodies, sounds, and phrases along with um, 16 pages. Each one has alphabets on it, colors, the spelling, the object, all of that, and a nice little picture here. And every time you turn the page, you get to press these lights and it says exactly the alphabet that it is on. It has A, B, C, D is for sure. It also says, it also reads out. So when you go on this reading portion, it reads out what at the zoo, Iguana is crawling, Jaguar is sleeping. So it reads all that out. And then you have this question mark over here. Uh, so if you press that, it will just ask you a question on, on like, can you find the letter D? And then when you press that, there's an applause. And then when you put it on the musical note over here, this acts like a piano. If not, then this is, uh, this makes the sound of a dog. And what's that? That's a cat, an elephant. The only thing I feel like they could have probably added the number nine and, uh, uh, a zero or somewhere maybe add a tail and add number nine something like that because why is it only until eight you know what I mean like why is it not zero to nine or one to ten but I love this toy very much it's very nice uh, very good learning experience for the kids and uh, this one says uh, 12 to 36 months which I feel like is absolutely appropriate for um, a, a one-year-old who is beginning to learn a lot of words you can read more information about this online there's also this WeTech Touch and Teach word book that I love. I have not got that yet, but it has a lot of pages that you can turn and each section has words about a particular topic. For example, it's like it's at the park, so you see a bench and you see a flower and all of that. So the kids learn to see the picture, understand what the object is and, and say the word and um, and learn words. So that's really good and it's interactive, so I love that. There's also a Leapfrog Alpha Pup. Um, so it has all these alphabets that you can press and it has a string that the kid can take the puppy around so that's really nice too i also have this WeTech spinning spiral tower playset go go smart meets there are a lot of uh, these toys that you can put together but i just got this one and it says from one to five years of age but i don't think my kids were even liking this when they were 14 months old because all they would do is pull this out pull this out and pull this out and pull this out and just pull all the parts out and that's about it they didn't do anything else i was really excited for this toy because when you place the car and it turns and it uh, comes out from the other side and i felt like maybe kids will really like it mine did not let me pause here to add that there are better ball roll towers and car tower play sets out there that i have suggested on my website kishlish.com are you getting bored as yet because i still have a lot more to talk about what we can do is end this here for toys until 12 months of age if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment to let me know anything if you have a question leave it below also while you're here why don't you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching bye